Ngamori Huata, Toko Ingoa. I am named after my queer, my mother's side from uh, up north in Tuhoe. Kei konei tonu, kei roto rua, uh, i tipu e au, kei roto i te kenungi te, te kainga o te whakarewe rewa. Yeah, so uh, when you know other life, but te te repo, yeah, te ngahere, and as you get even a rongo a Māori, when you know other life, that's the way it was. The making of poi was just like a toy for us, something to play with. We used to show up just to ourselves. But it was exciting for us. I think with bakers of the poi, that's what that has been we used to use it all the time. That was our toy. Mm. Apparently, it was contemporary. Okay, but the one from Rua Tauna, Py Tuhua, told me, uh, "Sister, make this poi." So I made this one. And they said, well, how could you get that in? I said, I work so far, and they put that in, and they worked around it. So that's where we're lucky with tourism, the retention of all our arts and crafts, and our, uh, like in the kapahaka and all that, that kept it going. Yeah. We went into the repo, the swamp all the time to cut. Okay, understanding that whole area. Like my mother said, even with the harakike, bundle it up, he kai munga pukeko. Okay, so it's in doing all of those sort of things. And there was one time that somebody came here and asked me about like a, the stripping of the flax. And kura te kura, they went like this thing. I said, how would you like it if I did that to your arm? Okay, so we were taught to use our hands. So just a thing in front, and, and so when you collect them together, then bundle them up. Treasure the tower.